Burke Salter Wines was the first boutique winery to open its doors in the Riverland in 2003. What is now the cellar door was once a petrol station owned by the family. Today though, you can come and enjoy their wines most weekends, public holidays, and what I like, by appointment. With a wine list that ranges from sparkling whites, chardonnays, merlots, and their signature, Cabernet, you'd have to make quite an appointment. Meanwhile, Angie caught up with Greg Salter for a bit of a background. Now, Greg, Burke Salter Wines has a long family history. Can you tell me all about it? Well, my grandfather planted up in the early 30s. Um, back then, the, the grapes were, were for drying. He had a few um, oranges, a um, few uh, bit of stone fruit. My father planted up uh, the old home vineyard up here, and that was purely for winemaking. Since then, Jane and I have ripped out what he planted and put in varieties more sought after. So you're right on the Murray. How is that? Uh, look, look, it's <laughs> it's in your blood. Once you've lived here all your life, um, you know a lot of people tend to think you've lived in a shell. But I, I've seen the Grand Canyon and the Alps, but I can still look at those cliffs over there and think, gee, that's pretty good. Being on the Murray, how does the tourism affect your business? It's just great to see people using the Murray and, and um, coming up and having a wine every now and then. Now, you've won some awards, haven't you, for your wines? We have, believe it or not, for a little hick town we are here. But since 07, um, I think we've picked up five gold, five silver and 40-odd bronze um, at various points around Australia. So we're pretty chuffed. You run a few tours in this beautiful beast we have here. Tell me about them. The tours, well, you know, they're not a big going thing, but the people that do seem to come around do seem to enjoy it. Um, it just takes me an hour to get people around. It's uh, showing them the wetlands, the Cobb and Co Road. You're happy to take me for a bit of a cruise around the winery? Oh, I reckon we can arrange that. 